a toxic work environment full of racism, sexism, and unwanted sexual advances. That's what two women say they were subjected to while working at UC Medical Center. And tonight, a Title IX investigation recommends UC make changes to prevent misconduct. Walter Smith Randolph poured over the reports and spoke with two of the alleged victims. He's live at UC with a story you'll see only here on Local 12. Walter? Rob and Cammie, these are two Title IX investigations just released today. The investigation finds the actions of two prominent doctors here implicated the university's code of conduct but didn't rise to the level of harassment or discrimination. The investigation conducted by an attorney hired by UC suggests the university take steps to improve and police the work environment. Sarah Jacobs has worked at UC Medical Center for a decade and she's a UC graduate. In a lot of ways, it's been great. But the last year has been anything but. You know, I grind my teeth at night. I have nightmares. Jacobs is an administrative supervisor in the general surgery department. She works under Dr. Michael Edwards and Dr. Kenneth Davis. Jacobs told investigators Edwards and Davis have fostered a hostile work environment, subjecting staff to racism and sexism. Sometimes it was subtle and sometimes it was blatant and, and direct and, you know, when you see somebody in tears over how they're being treated by a supervisor in the workplace, that, that's just not right. Jamila Kennebrew says the harassment got so bad, she quit. And I have been so much with them. And it's still tough. Kennebrew, who now lives in Texas, told investigators she was subjected to unwanted sexual advances by Dr. Edwards, which he denies while receiving vulgar emails like these from Dr. Davis. This Title IX investigation found Davis was told to stop sending those emails through his UC account. He did, but continues sending them to employees' personal accounts from his personal account. There were attempts to stop it, and those were just ignored. The Title IX investigation finds Dr. Davis did not engage in discrimination or harassment, but his behavior implicates UC's conduct policy and his actions should be reviewed. As for Dr. Edwards, the investigation found his conduct did not constitute harassment or discrimination under university policies. The report goes on to say sexual and gender-based animus exists within the Department of Surgery because of verbal comments, inappropriate discussions, and a failure to discipline. The report also says college leadership should review the findings to ensure professional conduct. Jacobs and Kennebrew say that's not enough. I would love to see UC help, you see the college, you see physicians. I would like them to do the right thing. And the right thing is to clean house. I don't think Dr. Edwards should be running the Department of Surgery, to be quite honest. I don't think he should. I, I think he has abused the trust given to him. Now, Jacob still works here at UC. She tells me she's not suing the university because she doesn't want any financial gain. She just wants institutional change. As for Kennebrew, she now lives in Texas doing the same exact job that she did here in Cincinnati. And now, while this investigation calls for the university to take action, Robin Cammy, it remains to be seen what specific action the university will take. Reporting live from UC Medical Center, Walter Smith Randolph, Local 12 News. Walter, thanks very much. We asked to speak with Drs. Davis and Edwards. Instead, the university released a statement to Local 12 tonight on behalf of Dr. Andrew Felak, who's the interim dean in charge of health affairs at UC. It says in part, I will review the findings, decide upon, and take necessary disciplinary actions and remedial steps. He goes on to say, I am committed to systematic and consistent enforcement of university policies around a respectful, civil, and inclusive environment. We have the university's full statement as well as the results of the Title IX investigation reports online right now at local12.com for you.